It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1652, recorded Thursday, December 7th, 2017. Works for us. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have holiday gift ideas, like a cheap way to protect your identity when throwing out documents, a 32 LED selfie light and phone charger, plus an easy way to open those frustrating clamshell packages. And I will show you what our loyal patrons suggested they chose for my December theme. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! It is time for the Gizwiz and here he is. The Prime Minister of Gadgets, <laughs> Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing super fine. And you, sir? Doing well myself. Doing good. We're getting into the holiday season. It's, you know, the the first official week of uh, of December. It's just been um, a lot of a lot of stuff um, happening uh, over the over the last uh, week. Do you decorate your house? I try to. I've been I've been looking. So I've always had an artificial tree. Our family is an artificial tree family, but I've always heard of getting real trees. And also, an ar- a good artificial tree costs like two hundred, three hundred dollars. Yes. Like they're expensive. So um, this year, I was thinking that I would go for a real tree because they tend to be less expensive in the sixty dollar ish range. Um, just test it out for a year and also kind of push off getting a really big expensive tree uh, to another year. So um, I've been setting up for that because I know I'm it's because I've never done it before. I'm like worried. I'm like, oh, the, are the pie needles going to fall over the place? Am I going to need? So I've been clearing away, away a room uh, in order to do that. I haven't decorated yet, but uh, oh, okay. it's definitely okay. on the list. I, I saw a YouTube video of an endless montage of what cats do on Christmas trees. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Yes. They love leaping up and hanging on ornaments. Climbing. Yes. Yes. And about 50% of the videos, the tree always falls over. So. Yeah. Yep. 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 You know, I just put a little sign on it. Just say no cat climbing. <laughs> They, you know, they're really smart. I think they can read now. So, I think, yeah, yeah think you know, work. use that, use that new cat font. Yeah, that, I, I'll uh, need, uh, I'll need like those uh, fake owls that you know scare the cats <laughs> away and get them, get them to run off. Maybe have a yeah, little wolf that growls every once. Oh, in that's a, while. a good, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's, I think, a, that's a great idea. We'll, we'll work it out. Yeah, definitely. Oh, so that's okay. my my current hope is uh, is to pull that off um, this year, basically. So. Yep, we'll see if next week I have it all settled. Because if it's not done by next week, it's like, what's the point? Because Christmas is almost upon us. This- it's coming so fast. Yeah, that, exactly. Yeah, well, we uh, I put some stuff in the window here at Disneyland. And I got my fiber optic tree from my movie um, in the back. So I just have to unbag it and straighten out the branches. So by next week, it'll be sitting behind me. Perfect. Doing its fiber optic best. The first, was it the first or like the, the, it was like, it was, I know that it was in, in the movie, but was, I thought it was like really crazy that it was a fiber optic tree. Yes. Well, it was the first one I ever owned. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they were very Real expensive. Glass. Maybe, Yes, you know, real yeah. fiber, real in fiber. Every brand. That, it's a gigabit tree, basically. Is is uh, what you're saying? It could be they they use the same fiber for Google Fiber in the uh, in your. Uh, you know what? It, it could be. It could be. <laughs> There's a good chance, actually. Yeah, because uh, you, if you turn turn one of the ornaments very carefully, I get home box. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, maybe you might even get a ESPN if you're lucky. I'm not sure. Yeah, if, uh, uh, you need a, you need a little <laughs> baseball ornament for that, which, yeah. which I don't have. Definitely. Um, okay, well, we have quite an episode. Yes, and, and you know we, we're we're going to do it a little different. I'm going to have you play the letters theme. We're going to do the letter at the top of the show, and then you'll see why. Perfect. Here we go. Letters. <laughs> It's fun to 
to start off with a theme, you know? When we yes, get into our gadgets, yes. there's no themes. We should it's great. So right Marlon Stewart writes, Dick and Chad's gadget knowledge is wide and extensive. Like my ego. Well, like... <laughs> Uh, no, extensive, not ex not expensive. Oh, oh, nice. Uh, um, how about doing a segment of the show giving recommendations for Christmas or holiday gadget gifts? Love it. I love the show. Marlon Stewart. Well, Stewart, surprise. My three gadgets are all gift inspired. And yours, sir? Well, you're not going to tell us. We yet, don't know you? yet. Yeah, we'll, we we'll don't reveal. Okay. But there's a they, they were. So I will say here. Let me let me tell you what the uh, poll options were, and then oh, okay. we'll find out okay. later which one actually won. But the patrons could vote on uh, stocking stuffers, on Christmas decorations, or party games and gadgets. The idea was family members getting together oh, for yeah, Christmas. Oh yes, so, yes, yes. So they all have a Christmas theme. So. This sounds like a great idea. The letter is perfect. perfect. The letter just set the tone. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, all right. So I, I sort of have a little knowledge that these gadgets are good. And I'll tell you why. Because I did a spot for ABC. It's supposed to be next week. And, and earlier this week, they called up frantically and said, oh, my, we have so many things happening next week. Is it possible to come in and do your holiday gadget spot uh, right away? Uh, which I did. And uh, up to an hour ago, about 3,700 people had gone to the page to look at those gadgets. And I sort of know, like, if, if they see the show and the gadgets don't get them, 1,000 people will go there. If they sort of like the gadgets, 2,000 people will go there. If they love the gadgets like this, this is a, a high number for me, uh, probably by uh, the end of the day, it'll be, up, be about 4,500. Uh, so these are gadgets people like already. And the first one, there are a lot of these on the market, but the one I found does something none of the others that I could find can do. So let's take a look. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. So you have your selfie stick. Do you have your selfie light ring? Okay. This is it. All right. So this is the selfie light ring. It's a big clamp. And it's for doing videos in where it's dark. And you need a little bit of extra light. I won't point it toward the camera. So it's 36 LEDs in there. That's low, medium, and high. And of course, back off again. So you can use it on your camera. Of course, you can hang it on a backpack. You can use it in a tent. You can carry it in your pocket. Now, there are a lot of these on the market, but this one is unique in as much as you charge it via micro USB, but then it has USB A out so that you can reverse the cable, and if your phone is running out of power, then you can use it to charge your phone. Of course, if you're using the battery for both the phone and the light, uh, you're gonna run it down a little faster, but you'll probably get what you want. Uh, battery life, according to the company, is anywhere from two hours to 12 hours, depending on how many things you're charging, or if you're using uh, low, medium, or high. As I said, 36 LEDs in there and very inexpensive. Let's look over here on Amazon, just $13.99. It did very well in the ratings here. Let me just look at the, uh, so 114 reviews and it got uh, 4.2 stars. It comes in that white case. So if you want a red case or the black case, it comes with that little cable. And the little cable has a little iOS connector. So there's micro. If you're using an iOS device, the little lightning connector. Uh, and then regular USB at this end. And I tell you, it, it's really a nice device. It comes, I bought two of them, one in black and one in white. Uh, it comes in this nice carry case. I might as well show you the white guy. Um, and that's the white version, okay? So I know you're saying, wait a minute, how come the black version doesn't have a black ring here? Well, of course, that would cover the LEDs. <laughs> uh, so I like this a lot. 
and uh, the reviews are very good. And what else can I say about it? Not much, except uh, I've used it where it's very dark in a corner, and it does improve the lighting of your shots. Dick DiBartolo, Man's Medist Writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. That's the perfect stocking stuffer for a YouTuber, as uh, Nick with the C says in the chat. That looks awesome. That is perfect. <laughs> It's really great. The, that case is water resistant. Uh, I was really amazed. For I, I was just shopping because I thought, you know what? Every once in a while, we're at a, an event <clears throat> and someone's table is off in the corner and you can't even see what they have. Uh, and then when I saw this one that let you uh, get into the battery that you charge for the light i thought that's a great idea yeah even if you need another 20 minutes to complete your video you'd be happy to have that uh separate little cable out yeah exactly is it's the perfect backup situation of oh darn it i forgot to record you know charge it at home let's just plug it back into the uh the phone and uh charge it for just a little bit it's perfect yeah um Pretty. Yeah, the, the only other, you know, I, I'm surprised I haven't seen more of these. The only other thing I've ever seen close to this is a good friend who's actually uh, part of uh, the Twitch uh, uh, content network is Aurelian, and she has a cell phone case that has LEDs all around the oh, side. Oh, yes. And yes. I've, I've seen those, and that looks really uh, good, too, but it's something that isn't quite as... Uh, you know, this you could clip on, take off. You don't have to always have it on your phone. It's, yes. it's quite nice um, yes. to, to have that, you know, be able to remove whenever you're not um, actively trying to Needing take it. Yeah. Good, yeah, yeah, good, good yeah. selfies and stuff like that. So there you go. On Amazon, $13.99. Very, and, very good. Yeah, and color of your choice, black, white, or red. And with the little bag. You know, With that just... little bag, it weighs 2.6 ounces. <laughs> uh, the little charging cable is a flat cable, which I really like. It has the little uh, lightning connector. So you have a micro USB and the lightning uh, adapter. I think it's super. 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 Perfect. Super. Okay. Um, gadget 2. Um, it's very, <clears throat> very funny thing about the packaging, uh, which you'll learn about in the video. But... It's a gadget that has dropped in price to under $25 as of today, but who knows what Amazon's going to charge in right. three hours. But let's take a look at this guy. Another great uh, holiday gift idea. Dick Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv talking about the Zip Snip. Cutting tool, okay? This is it from Works. Works spelled W-O-R-X. That is impressive. And this is a way when you get things in those ballista packs that you can... Wow! Open them. A professional power tool ease. for gadget lovers. <laughs> yes! All right. Yes! Uh, so it has a lockout. You have to be squeezing the handle as you push the trigger. Okay, if you let it go, it will stop automatically. It has a little hanger in the back. Now, there's a lithium-ion battery in this guy. It's four volts. Comes with a little charger. And let's take a look at it over at Amazon. Now, you know what? The price has just dropped. When I checked this yesterday, which was uh, like December 4th, it was... $39, uh, $29. Now it's dropped $5, but it's Amazon. So you never know what the price will be, but the suggested retail is 35 And the company says, work says that you charge it and it should run for months as you open packages. It cuts through, they say cuts through anything up to about a quarter inch thick. And I'm just looking here. Uh, it can cut leather, uh, certainly through plastic, weighs less than a pound, has a nice little comfort grip. But strangely, as you may have noticed, <laughs> it comes in a mega clamshell pack. All right. But this will be 
the last clamshell they just want to make sure you'll have to open. You know how frustrating it is. Without yes, once yes, you yes. have this out, you won't have to worry about it again. And, and I can see the reason. There's a sharp blade in there, and you don't want people in the store playing with it and uh, getting it open. Uh, so that's it. The works zip snip. Uh, I guess you could call them electric scissors, but I like it. It has a, a, a guy down here, too, so that you can... Oh, let's do another one. I just, you know, I do like this thing. -da -da. Take that, you rotten clamshell packaging. If you're sending me any gifts, I'm accepting only clamshell wrapped presents. But you don't have to send me anything. I have a lot of stuff. Uh, okay, Dick Bartolo, Mads, Metis, Rider, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. This is a really cool gadget. Not only does it solve a really difficult problem of the stupid blister packs, but also I could see this being used for people who have uh, dexterity issues. And Oh, that's, yeah. And normal scissors are difficult. On their Amazon page, they show opening up normal things like dog food well that's that's a lawn fertilizer but i could see that with dog food or yeah you know, someone's it, even cutting just gift wrap just gift wrap i mean cutting gift wrap is really frustrating sometimes because the scissor has to go under the gift wrap and then you know part on top so you're cutting and there's just gift wrap but this would just have one small little thing under and you'd be able to guide it along I love this. I think that yeah, this is... Yeah, uh, I do too. And great. I like the fact that it's from Works only because I have a lot of their drills. You know, if this was one of those as seen on TV things, right? Uh, you would think in, in three weeks after they dumped the warehouse load, <laughs> we'll never hear from them again. Right. Um, so I'm sure that they put some thought and uh, quality parts into this thing. And <clears throat> like I said, at $29, I thought it was okay, but... 25 seems uh, really good. Comes with a little uh, charger. And they said that uh, you probably have to charge it like every other month or so. And the blades are replaceable if for some reason you need another one. And, and the blades, I believe, are five bucks. Yeah. No, it's, uh, uh, well, uh, depends on how many you get. Where I'm trying to see. A two pack is 16. Um, oh, see, yeah. Now that's. Funny. So but that could have uh, also both, uh, both the same price? Uh, this is another two-pack for $20. <laughs> oh, my so gosh. $10 at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I am surprised. But yeah. But, like, how often would you need to? That, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably not very often. And, of course, we know Camelizer. Camelizer is a little Chrome extension that shows the price of things. This is uh, the, the graph of, of the past. The green will be Amazon's price. So you can see that it looks like it may have gotten a little bit lower than 24, uh, but yeah, up here Just in the 35 yeah, by... is 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 normally where it's at. So yeah, well, that's pretty much. I think the list price is 34.95. Yeah, so that's perfect. So, Fantastic. Yeah. That's a great gadget. Of course, the predecessor that we've talked about before is the Open It. The open it, yeah. I have right here, um, but still not having to be underneath something as you. Uh, yes, as you the cut open it you. gets bogged down when you get to the middle of a yeah. tall clamshell. Thing. Yeah, because you got you have the clamshell kind of coming through, and you have to kind of work around the the previous stuff that you just cut. So uh, this looks fantastic. I should put this on my <laughs> Christmas wish list, actually. Yeah. 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 Um, <clears throat> Maybe that's why so many people went to the website today because they they like these uh, gifts. Yeah. Uh, the last guy uh, to me is also a winner. If you can't afford a shredder, uh, you might be interested in this little security gadget. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Rider, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. I have a security gadget that's less than $10. All right. This is it. XL Mark, the rolling identity theft guard stamp. All right. So what is this guy? All right. Don't look down because I have... I have stuff on this thing. I don't want you, I don't want you to see. I'll tell you when to come back. 
Oh, you can come back now. Ta-da! So this is what it is. When you're throwing out checks, you're throwing out bills, anything like that. If you're in a show and the re it gets bad reviews and you don't want people to see your name. <laughs> so this is really neat. You can easily cover things. I was showing this to someone uh, and they said, oh my gosh, I spent hours with a magic marker before I throw away my statements going over each line. This will save me. I guess I've marked up this whole sheet demonstrating it. Oh, we still have another sheet left. Bum, 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 it's very bum, fast. Bum, bum. Uh, so the company says it's like uh, a thousand feet or a thousand yards of ink in this, but it's refillable. So you can, when it runs out of ink, you can uh, refill this. And what's neat about this is I often wonder, I often do take a magic marker when I'm throwing out uh, a prescription bottle because it doesn't fit in. I do have a shredder. Very hard to get a medicine bottle, a <laughs> prescription bottle into a shredder. But this is an easy way to go over that label very, very quickly. And as I said, it's very inexpensive. Uh, here it is on Amazon. Uh, this looks like a better deal. I wish I had seen this before. It's the XL Mark and three refill inks for $13. Okay, I paid $10 for the stamp alone. But the funny thing is when I go down here to find the stamp alone, the stamp magically changes to Maceo. Okay. <laughs> this is one of those deals where uh, several companies go to a, uh, a factory in China or Japan and they say, yeah, put my name on that. It's called white uh, labeling. So obviously you can see yes. it's the same with the word confidential and the specs are the same inch and a half. Uh, pretty good reviews, 480 customers and it got 4.3 stars. Um, number one bestseller in business stamps on Amazon. So the device alone, oh, I got cheated. I paid $9.99. Uh, it's $8.59, but if I was reordering it again, I would get the $12 deal where you get the three ink refills. Uh, that's it. Dicky Bartolo Mads. Wait a minute. You, can, I don't want anybody to read the countries where HP offers their warranty. Dicky Bartolo Mads, Maddest Strider, and the Gizwiz one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. That is nice. I can see a lot of people in the chat saying, oh, I would like this. Oh, this sounds like something nice. Yeah, and the ink dries rather quickly. I mean, uh, I didn't get any ink on me and, and uh, I didn't see anything smear. See, this is why I like it because before I saw this picture, I bought a bottle of ink. And now that I see that picture, I realize that it's much easier to fill it with those uh, refills because there's a little hole in the side of the device. So if I were buying it again, I would definitely buy the, the deal where you get the uh, stamper and the three ink refills. And there's, so there's a little hole at the side of the roller and you just cut the uh, tip off the uh, refill ink and pour it into that little guy. Um, in true chat room fashion, uh, they have already oh. found a cheaper version. Now, this is not exactly the same. This is from AliExpress, but uh, it will allow you, this is, I, oh my gosh, seeing this actually right here, is it covering up an address? I get so many packages that I want to unbox or show off. Mm -hmm. Being able to hide your address quickly. Now, this is in Chinese, I just realized. <laughs> this is, uh, but you know what? No, this is, this is the same Doesn't thing. Doesn't matter. Who, who it cares? Matter? Exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I realized that it was not in English um, until just right now. But uh, there is a $3.72 version 
of this. Oh my uh, word! On AliExpress. So, right. however, you're not going to get it for Christmas because no. delivery time is three, uh, 20 to thirty nine days. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you probably get it. It is. It is actually twenty to thirty nine days. Is yeah. what it says. Right. On. So when you get it, uh, and you, uh, Christmas will be over, and when you give it as a gift, someone will say, "You know, this is great, but there's no ink in it." Just dust. <laughs> Dry, yeah, so that exactly. yeah, the, the ink would have dried out by now. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, I see a lot of chat. people. I see a lot of people in chat saying, this is great. I love it. Uh, I want to get one. Um, because we all have that issue of, uh, okay, this one thing, I don't want people to see it. Um, you know, let, let me let me cover it up. And yeah, no, I think Sharpie. it's great. And, and as I said, I love that you can do uh, prescription bottles with it because you really have to do a magic marker or stand there and try to get that label off the bottle. Um, anyway, yeah, <laughs> the chat room is very funny. Pete Doughboy said, "I need ninety-two octane premium ink." <laughs> uh, yes, it can't be the cheap stuff. It has to be yeah. the best. The best, the best ink. The best obliviating ink. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, anyway. so bef before we get into Transcrappy Corner, I want to reveal the winner of the... Oh, yes, of yes. The straw poll of the straw of what the patrons asked. Um, and so the options were between stocking stuffers, party gadgets slash uh, games, and Christmas decoration. And the winner is da 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 da, stocking stuffers. Stocking. stocking stuffers oh yes. Oh the, wow, winner. this really is a theme show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everything is Christmas theme. Obviously, the Amazon Holiday ads theme. know that uh, I am a Gizwiz watcher. <laughs> These are all products we've like shown off on the show. I <laughs> that, uh, that is a riot. That, you know, every once in a while, that's helpful. I'll yeah. go on Amazon and I'll go, what was that thing I was, was looking that? for yesterday? And exactly. it's right, it's right you there. You don't even have to search for it. It's right, right there. on the front page. Yeah. Uh, so stocking stuffers is uh, my theme. So with that, let's go. You know you don't, don't get need it, it, but you might want it at <laughs> <chance>. <laughs> It's Crappy Corner. Get it. So, uh, in true stocking stuffer theme, I will bring out all my gadgets in an actual stocking to make sure that they can be stuffed into oh, wow. a stocking. So, this is the official Gizwiz stocking size <laughs> thing uh, to make sure that uh, that it works. Um, okay, so today's gadget, and I actually have yes, yes. two of them because I like them both and I wanted to test them both out are the world's smallest gadgets. Um, I found these uh, at Target and they are available online, but just to kind of show them off, they are versions of very popular toys. You remember the uh, those big balls that have one, um, uh, like a, a ball bearing in them and you oh, use, yes, it yes, goes yes. through a maze. This is like an a puzzle? Itty, yes, exactly, they're called uh, Perplexus, the Perplexus puzzles, and then also, of course, an itty bitty Rubik's Cube. Oh my gosh. Now, I don't have the fancy blister pack thing you do, so I'm gonna have <laughs> to use my, my open it in order to get into the packaging. But I thought that these were fun miniature classics um, to test out. So here's the, uh, the Rubik's Cube. Let me see if I have my product shot. I do not. The product shot hasn't changed from last week when we had the peanut butter thing and my cat is still oh. there. Product <laughs> shot's a little broken at the moment, but here is the itty bitty Rubik's Cube. It it works, it's a little tight, but that could also just be because it's a brand new. Yeah, brand new, yeah. Brand new Rubik's Cube. Um, and now it will never, ever be its original Rubik's Cube uh, color, because <laughs> uh, uh, I am not a Rubik's Cube master. But there you go. There's an itty itty bitty Rubik's cube, and then what I really wanted to test out was that the was the fidget spinner of yesterday. <laughs> it was. It was the fidget spinner of the what, 60s, 70s? Yes. Something like that. Was it the 80s? I'm not sure. Of yesteryears. Of yesteryears. Um, okay, so this is the Perplexus, and I've seen these all over the place. Uh, a few of my friends would have them at home, and you have a little start point to get this ball bearing 
um, through the maze. I'm trying to find the, uh, here we go. Okay, so there's three mazes here. And bloop, oh, come on. It looks like uh, the uh, uh, static electricity was, uh, was keeping that up. So uh, you have your start point at the front. I'm not sure if this is gonna be able to be seen very much. Uh, but you have one, two, and three. Let me also see if I can change the um, the video settings so that this will autofocus on the uh, front of this. Oh, I see uh, the little ball. I see that. There we go. Um, okay, so there's a start point right there with the one, two, and three pedestals, and that's oh, where yep. you you start your uh, your game, and then your ball will fall into the maze and you'll have to move it across. So I just came across sort of this uh, orange bit and so my ball is now going on uh, the right hand side and going across and I move it around, move it over. Oh, there's, there's a fall off. There we go, okay, we got that to work and we're moving and uh, there's little arrows on the maze itself to kind of tell you how you need to actually move the ball bearing around. Oh my gosh, this is going all over the place. Oh my gosh, I had, I had no idea. This is going, <laughs> I, it's going up and over curves and, and, oh no, I dropped it. Oh, crumbs, it fell out. Now, now it's inside the maze somewhere. Um, but this is a nice little pocket edition of the humongous uh, perplexes. Yeah. These aren't all that expensive. I found uh, mine at Target. The Rubik's Cube was only $4.99, and the uh, Perplexus was $7.99. And then, of course, I found them online. The Rubik's Cube was actually quite a bit more than uh, it was in store. On Amazon, I found it for $14.95. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's not even... Oh, it is Prime. Okay, that, I'm the, in the beginning of the day, I didn't think that that was Prime. And then the Perplexus was uh, $7.14 on Prime. So that's actually a little bit oh, less expensive. It is a little cheaper, yeah. yeah. So uh, both of these are, I think, very, very fun things. Uh, easy to keep around. If I had children and uh, going on a long trip, uh, I could see this is the perfect um, sort of car game thing to do in a car to keep people uh, occupied. Um, and you can also see the, uh, the start area right there. It's upside down, but that's the, there's three mazes in one and one perplexus. Oh, um, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, okay. exactly. Exactly. Uh, so, do you know if they're like, like easy, harder, hardest? I don't know. It oh, seems it might like be. it might be. There's a good chance that it is. Yeah. Um, but I'm not sure. Someone um, in the chat room says, wait for five below. Yeah, exactly. Wait until they get to five below. Seriously. Um, our favorite site. Um, so, yeah. if uh, the, I, I think that this is a, a great little uh, stocking stuffer. If you take them out of the package, they fit so much easier uh, into the stocking. <laughs> yeah, but so... it doesn't look like such a big gift. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. These, uh, these kind of add a little bit of uh, niceness to them. So there we go, uh, the first of the stocking stuffer gadgets. What's funny is I think last year we did stocking stuffers as well. I can't quite remember at this point. Um, but you know what? You guys love it. You guys voted for it. So without further ado, let's jump into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Um, and our Gadget Warehouse video is an actual gadget from someone's warehouse, from Jeremy. So let's take a look and then I'll tell you what he says after the video. Hey Dick and Chad, today I wanted to share with you a gadget from my gadget warehouse that I Looks acquired spooky. about four years ago from one of my uncles. A At the time football. he had purchased a business along <laughs> with the equipment that went with it. And he called me up asking if I would look at a laptop he found at the office because he was wondering if it was something that he could use. This was what was inside. This is a Zenith Data Systems Z-Star EX laptop. Now this computer has a lot of wow. different ports and compartments so I will start on the side here. 
This is a PCMCIA slot, which is empty. Right here you have your security uh, slot. This is an audio access door where if you upgraded your laptop with an audio card, you got some additional features like a headphone jack, a microphone jack, etc. Oh my god, that was this an option. This is the hard drive which can yeah. uh, slide out. On the back here we have the keyboard and mouse wow. port along with a VGA parallel and serial ports. Wow. Those ports right here is where you can plug it in and you have the uh, floppy drive. The uh, port for the power actually can pop out if I can get it to come out here. What? And you can also Held slide in, in a friction. battery. It's probably going to take a while oh, to boot up. Oh, so you can make it a portable. I will point out a few different things. You'll notice underneath the main laptop screen is a small LCD display with various icons. Oh, wow. Uh, on the keyboard is a little nub for the mouse cursor, which is very similar to the ones found on the IBM and Lenovo ThinkPads. Here's a couple of the extra batteries that came with it. Everything seems to be working, and here's... Good old wow. Windows 3.1. <laughs> wow. Chad, oh I know what you're thinking. Uh, I'm not sure if it runs Minecraft. I will <laughs> Dang it. let you know as soon as I figure out how to fit Minecraft onto a bunch of floppy disks. Fortunately, there are a couple of games already installed on here. I do have access to Minesweeper and Solitaire. That's all you Which need. are both great ways to pass the time. If for any reason I get bored with those, I can always fire up Notepad or Paintbrush. I don't believe I mentioned the specs. Uh, it does have a Intel DX4 CPU clocked in at 75 megahertz. There's eight megabytes of system memory. The base model came with four, but there is a single slot to, so that you can upgrade it to either eight, 12, or 20 megabytes. There's also an Astounding additional one graphics. megabyte of video memory. Uh, the display is a 640 by 480 display capable of doing 256 colors. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not quite sure when this laptop was made. I believe it was in 1995, but I'm not sure. Perhaps somebody in the chat room uh, may know. Anyway, that is a look at my Zenith Data Systems Z-Star EX. Um, thank you very much for the podcast, guys. Uh, really enjoy it. Keep up the great work. And thank you for watching my video. That is amazing. Uh, funny enough, there is actually a version of Minecraft called Minecraft 4K, and I know you're thinking that's the resolution, but that's actually the size of the install. Oh, how funny. It was made for a Java 4K competition, so the entire install is under four kilobytes large. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look really anything like Minecraft at all, uh, but I think that would be the only version of Minecraft that might be able to run. I don't think they have a Java version that would run on uh, Windows 3, though. <laughs> oh, my. But that's, that was also funny is uh, that interface with the uh, Windows and stuff, that was the first computer I ever played with was a Windows 3.0 um, uh, version. And so, like, that was so nostalgic, seeing that desktop and seeing the, the folder icons and seeing the, the window. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, Jeremy added, he said, I wanted to share this gadget because I always remembered Zenith Electronics because of their TVs and their stereos. But the Zenith Data System Division was founded in 1979 after Zenith acquired the brand Heathkit. <laughs> and remember Heathkit? Barely. Barely. I, like, they, I they remember were the your name own computers. more than it, anything. It was a, Box of parts. Uh, they acquired Heathkit and they made computers until 1966 when they merged with Packet Bell and NEC. And he thanks us again for the, our great show. So, Jeremy, you got a Mad Magazine. You got an Alfred E. Newman photo. Uh, you get our thanks for a very interesting Gadget Warehouse video. And we're looking for more. And the rule have changed a bit because MAD is closing December 22nd. Uh, I think we have two more videos. But what I'm doing is taking a quick look at the video, if they're at all usable, sending you the MAD right away and the Alfred E. Newman picture right away. So that even if your video airs after December 22nd, you'll have your prize. Uh, because I have no idea. You'll always get an Alfred E. Newman picture 
if you live in the U.S. And now uh, we know how to sign them so I can send you an autographed Alfred E. Newman picture uh, via email for you to print out and frame. No one will know. <laughs> it's not the original. Um, so make a video, uh, two to three minutes. And put it on YouTube. There's a drop-down menu. Click uh, unlisted if you don't want uh, people just to stumble across it. And send that URL to us at mail at gizwiz.tv. And again, uh, Chad's mother, if you want an issue of MAD and an Alfred E. Newman picture, it has to be in our hand. But, you know, December 22nd. My gosh, that's soon. Like soon, very soon. Like, yeah, like two weeks. I, yeah, I think Mad is going to close. We're taping this on the Thursday. Mad is closing two weeks from tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so get that video made and email it. Perfect. Email it priority. Priority email. Now, we already did our letter earlier in we the episode. We did our letter, yep. So uh, really, it's a uh, uh, first. Oh, I you know, I, you should just you should just play the letters theme for last because okay. people yeah. love the letters theme. Here with letter. Okay. Become the letters, your lovely letters. Become the kiss letters now. Ah, and the letter says there's there's no no letter. There, there's no letter left. <laughs> and there's no letter left. Um, go on, head over to gizwiz.biz and play. What the heck is it? Uh, that is the game show on the internet that uh, we run, and they have until the 22nd to get in. Uh, no, you have to oh, the 17th the to 17th. enter. Perfect. Okay. Because I need I, that gives me five days for you to go online, see if you won, and mail you out your copy of Mad. Perfect. Uh, and and that would be this is like the second to last week, basically. That that. Could yes, happen. exactly. So, and the cover of the Mad you're going to get, I think, is on there now. Uh, Oh, no, it's not. How did not that? Yet. That's okay. Um, That's okay. We'll no see problem. you next week. Um, yes. And this is what we're trying to figure out. This is the whole gadget, uh, not just uh, part of it. Um, and it's, uh, it's pretty obvious to me that this is a, uh, a, a device for cutting lion's nails. Uh, it's a, a nail clipper for, for big cats. Um, if you think you know what this is, get a guessin'. We uh, prefer hilarious, clever, interesting, and uh, made-up answers to what it really is. There's 12 Mad Magazines for correct answers, but 24 for those funny and hilarious uh, answers. So get a guessing. Um, also, we do know that Patreon has changed uh, a little bit of how they process payments and stuff. Um, we're looking into that. We'll have more information later, but for now we want to give a big, big, big thank you to our patrons. You guys support the show every single week. Thank you so much for your support and generosity. Uh, it's just absolutely wonderful to have you, and, and this show would not exist without our patrons. Thank you so much for your generosity. Uh, Patreon is more of a, a re reoccurring payment thing. If that's not uh, what you want to do, you want to give just one time, or you want to set up, I think you can set up uh, a PayPal reoccurring um, as well, but at the moment we don't have an easy way to do that. You'd have to figure out um, how to set that up uh, yourself, but you can head on over to gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and right underneath the Patreon banner is a link to donate via PayPal as well, and anyone who's done that, our hearts uh, go out to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support and generosity uh, with the Gizwiz. With and that. one other oh, yeah. thing. Go ahead. Uh, we, on January 4th, we are doing the best gadgets of the year, the worst gadgets of the year. We're doing two shows back to back. It's yet one more chance to win. Uh, we, uh, on uh, January 4th. We... Sorry about what that. What was that? <laughs> that, That's was, okay. that was me going to gizwiz.tv and uh, us playing oh, oh, ourselves oh, okay. over. Sorry about that. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, so it's another way to win a Mad Magazine is to send in a video of a gadget you bought from seeing the show and what you think of it, the gadget you bought from seeing the show that you absolutely hated or the worst gadget that you think we showed. So if you want to make a video, you can win a mad magazine. We'd love that. Or just send in a letter that you can, uh, you want us to read. And on, the, uh, on those two shows, we can read multiple letters. So you don't have to worry that your letter won't be selected. Uh, so the best and the worst of 2017 
for our January 4th show. By the way, uh, if uh, we can, you can also submit uh, your best and worst at the top of the site. There's this click here uh, for oh, to vote. Oh, great! And uh, if you click there, if you if, you know, send an email isn't isn't your Back style. Uh, the username is the only required field. Field, just uh, type in what you remember about the gadget. Anything you can remember. If you have a link to the gadget, uh, that'd be helpful. If you have the episode that the gadget is, anything that you have will be helpful. As much information or as little information as you can give us and then just click submit and then we'll be able to get uh, get that. So gizwiz.tv, just right at the top of the website, there is a banner that says click here to, uh, to enter in. And uh, thank you for everyone who takes the time to do that because that really helps us out. Uh, if no, you want to watch the show live, you can head on over to gizwiz.tv. Here we are. We're, get, we're getting an inception right here because <laughs> of... Uh, uh, we're live right now. You can join the chat room and you can also subscribe on iTunes or whatever RSS feed uh, and on YouTube as well. What do you got there, Dick? All right, so this is the February issue. That's the one I was talking about. You'll be playing for that if you get your video in by December 17th, okay? This is uh, the 20 dumbest, so it's everything that people did wrong in 2017. And on the back cover... I have my bike safety poster <laughs> with important tips like have a horn loud enough so that when people hear it, they will leap into the air and you can safely drive under them. Love it. Uh, uh, so that's what you'll be playing for. And this uh, is the last Mad Magazine that will be sent to the New York office. So in a way, uh, it's a sad kind of thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Definitely. But it's okay because last night, uh, DC Comics, which is the parent company of MED, had a corporate goodbye party for us in which two of the heads <laughs> of DC Comics said, you better be contributing to the new MED magazine because we want the voice of some of the original usual gang of idiots. So that was encouraging. That is encouraging. That's yeah, nice. Yeah, absolutely. Um, with that, I think that's the, uh, that's the end of our show for today. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. I'll be here.